Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. We're going to check out three new bands to the channel today. Love doing that. We've got some modern metalcore, some genty stuff, some melodic stuff in there today. Sounding cool. We've got a priority sub as well to kick us off. Now this band, they sent through their submission. There's no other pages about them on the internet. They haven't got a Facebook or an Instagram. They haven't even got a Bandcamp or anything like that. Just this one YouTube page. Ghost Kingdom is the name of the band. they got 31 subscribers. Hopefully we'll get them some more after this. But guys, you need to get at least some kind of social media page so that you know people can follow you, find out about the band and all the rest of it. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're just keeping it on the down low for, for a reason. Uh, this is Dead and Gone that we're going to check out today. Let's get it on the screen. We've got a lyric vid for this one. Let's give it a spin. Watch out if you're sensitive. Styles building it up. This one sounds cool. Cool video. It's almost like an ethnic tone coming in with this synthy stuff. I thought this was a cool one. Had some nice bits in there, nice vocal bits, building up, creating an energy, creating a hype within the vocal, then some fast and choppy bits in there, weaving in and out. I think I must have had two vocalists weaving in and out together. Uh, I thought that was cool. And then breaking into that singy chorus with the extra synths, widened it out, thickened it up. And with that more ethnic stuff in there, there's lots of different elements coming together in this one. My only kind of tip for these guys would be to think more about the transitions from one section to a next. 
uh, particularly maybe on the drums, using a fill so that the listener knows that there's a, ch a change about to come and it pulls them into the next change. Because what I did feel is just some sections came in kind of not abruptly but just without any announcement that they were gonna it was gonna change at that point um and it's always nice when it's particularly when the drummer can do it and you could do it with a kind of a fill of a riff as well is you just let the listener know here comes a change and it pulls them into it nicer you know just on your first listen so you can feel the changes because uh, some of the changes in this one just kind of caught me off guard with where they came in because they didn't announce that they were going to have a change at that point that was really it. I thought they had loads of cool stuff going on this one. Vocal really made it nice with all the different stuff going on because it was just different styles of vocal and tones and distortions on the vocal and stuff coming at you all the time, which kept it interesting. Cool. So hopefully you'll send, keep sending in your music, but you need to set up some uh, web pages as well so we can get to know this band a bit more uh, and see what else you're up to with all your other stuff. Because, you know, part of being in a band nowadays isn't just putting out the music or a video. It is as well having a social media presence, connecting with your fans, letting them know what you're up to. Uh, and all the rest of it as well because it's just one way you can connect with people nowadays and it's the bands that do that that attract the fans compared to the bands that don't do that you know but it is extra effort the next band we're going to check out new to the channel as well the luminary this track is called lost from view it's got an official vid for this one let's give it a spin just Nice punch to this mix. Come in with a nice cool roll, doing a nice job. Some cool rippiness on the guitar as well, I like that. Cool. 
I thought these guys absolutely nailed it for this kind of music. This is how you do modern melodic metalcore. That's how it's done. They ticked every single box you want to do for this kind of music. Cool video to go with it. High quality. The whole thing was just high quality. Great mix. Loud, powerful, punchy, wide on the choruses, layered with the synthy stuff as well. Sounded great. Heavy vocals, uh, nice layered melodic vocals as well to give them a depth and a thickness. Sounded great. Cool guitar riffs, twiddly stuff, progressive stuff, genty stuff. All coming together very nicely with a punch as well along with the drums. Sick drumming. Doing all the right things on the kit to move the, the track through. Big long fills into the next section, pulling out just to the vocal before the chorus. It builds and you just, it just comes in as a drop. You feel all the changes, uh, which is what I was saying about you know the first band need to focus a bit more into. You know, if you want a master, not a masterclass, but if you want to know how to do modern metalcore and tick all the boxes, check out this band because they're doing everything right in my opinion. Uh, wouldn't give them any tips on this kind of music. This is how you do modern melodic metalcore. Very good. Very nice job. The last band I'm going to check out today is called Jera. Their track is called Mother of Nine. Jesus, here we go. Wow. 
once again just nailed this kind of music had all the cool sections nice dynamics in this one pulling it up uh, and bringing it back down again very very nice man we've had some cool bands on today i think now it's not very often i'd say this about a band uh, or about the mix it's not about the band really it's more about the mix engineered mix and mastered by jay Dublaris of Exiled Media. That's not very often I'll say this, but I would actually say that I think this one was cranked a bit too much, maybe two or three dB into the limiter, a bit too hard. Uh, particularly in the guitars, I would say on this one, the whole mix was so friggin' loud and heavy, it come at you with a force, and that was cool about it. But at the same time, it, it, it had a slight uncomfortableness about it. It felt, it felt to me like it was just pushed a bit too hard through the, through the limiter. Um, and, and, it, and it gave the whole mix a kind of push too, push too far distortion to it, uh, which did make it sound nice and heavy. But, as, but in this kind of, if it, was, if it was more kind of death or something like that, I really wouldn't mind because it would suit the kind of music more. But I do believe in this kind of music, you need a level of clarity to the whole mix um, and a refinement edge to it that, that you don't get from pushing it too hard through a limiter and, and distorting it in that way. Um, but man, it sounded so heavy through the headphones. It was cool in that way, but I just don't know, don't know if it suit the mix necessarily suited the kind of music for how loud and heavy and pumped up it was. It, or it needed a little bit more refinement for the kind of music. But there you go. That's just a minor tip, really, uh, because the, 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 I think, again, this band just ticked all the boxes that you want to do. The drummer did a great job. We even got some blast beats in there towards the first half, which was dope. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but the drummer did a nice job of moving through the sections again, letting you know when changes were coming, pulling back, letting the vocalist just do a little section, then dropping into a big chorus. It's a nice thing to do in this kind of music, creates a dynamic as well within the music. Uh, so these bands know, you know how to do that stuff. I think we've had three killer bands on today, all new to the channel. I want to check out all these bands again in the future. Uh, so guys, if you put any more music videos out, as well as sending, out, sending them over to Space on Travel, which is a great channel for this kind of music, I must admit, send them over here as well and we'll check it out as well. Uh, because yeah, I do like this kind of music. I want to keep an eye on this kind of music because I want to still see where it's going to go next. I feel like modern metalcore, as it's called, uh, with a, with a, kind of more melodic vocal wide big choruses and all that stuff they've perfected that now and i think the bands today have shown that they've perfected that because they're just ticking all the boxes nailed it uh and it's as good as it's going to get so i want to see when something gets as good as it's going to get i want to see where it's going to go next uh, and how these bands are going to bring in extra elements to their music to spice it up thought the blast beats were a nice little section in the third band which to spice this kind of music up um, but other things now need to be brought into this kind of genre uh, to just be fresh you know and just kind of be something that you haven't heard before because there's a lot of bands making this kind of music because it is one of the more kind of commercially successful sides of metal um, but I still think that you don't want to tread water for too long especially when you, you've perfected a genre when you perfect them at it's time to move on or at least try to adapt it in some other way uh, to, you know, branch off and tangent off from that. And that's how we get fresh stuff. So hope you've enjoyed that today, guys. Hope you're having a good day and all that jazz. We'll see you around tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.